Mike McElroy here with Timeless Fence System. Today we're going to look at how to terminate our wires at a corner system. Um, the example we have here this, today is the uh, New Zealand A-frame. Uh, we already have one of our uh, wire fences installed and what I want to show you is uh, anytime that this wire is running through the channel, one of the easiest and simplest ways is to run the wire all the way through your top hole and then we just slide a grip along to the top wire, uh, take a pair of pliers, um, make, a, make a little hook and then take our key to our gripple and slide it back all the way up to the end so the gripple fits nice and neat inside this channel and it's flush. So it makes it nice and neat. That's the easiest way to do it. Now, the next thing, and, and what we have more questions about than anything, is how do you run your wire through your, your channel here, but then we've got the side of your H post here. So what we have to do is we have to take a drill, and we have to drill our hole all the way um, from this hole here into this, this um, H post right here. So we've already done that. We've already set our drill, and we've already punched a hole through there. So what we're going to do now is take our wire and, and thread our wire through the existing hole in the H post and then the hole that we drilled. And then what I'm going to demonstrate is a couple of ways of, of how to terminate your wire using a couple different tools. So I'm going to come all the way around uh, the outside of this post just to tie both of these posts together. Uh, one of the one of the ways that's very easy, and you can see what I've done. I've just created where my my two wires line up there perpendicular to each other, or parallel. I'm sorry, parallel. I'm just going to slide on a split bolt here, put on the washer. in our nut here. And I'm just gonna slide it up and then you just take two wrenches and go ahead and tighten it up and that wire is terminated. So that is one method that you can use. The next method that I'm gonna demonstrate is using a crimp sleeve uh, this is a number, uh, it's a 2-3 extra long crimp sleeve. And there again, we've already had, we already have our wire uh, around our corner and we have this parallel. Of course, you got to make sure that you go ahead and, and slide this crimp sleeve on before you run it through your H post. Then I'm going to come back, line that up, slide it up all the way, and now go ahead and take your crimp tool and crimp that. When you crimp, the proper way of doing this is start at one end and do your crimp and then go right next to it and do a crimp and a crimp and a crimp. And what will happen is this crimp will actually extend. It'll be just a little bit longer. You can probably get about five to six crimps on that to do it properly. Um, just want to point out you don't want to start at this end and then come at this end and then in the middle you want to start at one end and go all the way through. So that's the second way of, of terminating when you have uh, in two H posts that are perpendicular to each other in a corner. The third way that I'll show, we have a gripple. There again, you need to slide your gripple all the way uh, on your wire before. So we'll slide our grip along there and we'll go ahead and line, line those two wires up and then take your key and release that wheel inside and then you can cinch it right on up. So that's the third way that you can terminate. And then you can cut a little excess off right here. If you want to go ahead and, and put a hook on it, you can, um, but that's another quick and easy way of terminating. All right, now the fourth way that I want to show you is one that's very simple 
and anybody can learn how to tie a knot. And I would always recommend starting off with a real light gauge, like a 17 gauge wire. Go out, find you a post, and do what I'm gonna show you here. And do it five, six, seven, ten times, whatever it takes where you feel comfortable. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna go around our post, and then my short wire runs over the top of my wire for my fence. And I'm creating a hole right here. And so what I wanna do is, I wanna take this wire and I wanna come up through the hole that I created. And you can grab that and then pull it up. And I'm going to just cross it over. So now you've created a slip knot. So with that slip knot, you can kind of work your, your wire back in here to where it will cinch up. Okay, so our, our, our slip knot is, is right close to our, to our frame here. So now all we have to do is go ahead and do a hangman's noose. We're gonna go around once twice and three times we're going to come up run this perpendicular and then we're going ahead and break it off makes a nice neat knot and then as we tighten up at our strainer then this knot will actually cinch up and become tighter so there's four different options for terminating the wire using the any of our a frames um, h frames the classic or the super but when you come to the corner you're always going to have one post that's perpendicular to the other one so there's different ways you can actually tie both of these both ways if you want to if you didn't want to use the gripple on the back but the gripple is just a, a quick and easy way of doing that hope that helps um, i hope the demonstration helps today if, uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to call us at Timeless Fence System at 800-788-4709.